Hello everybody, this is John. Welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. I am once again in the car. And today I'm going to be reviewing an item from Popeye's Louisiana Chicken. As you know, they were one of the first places to come out with their chicken sandwich that made every other fast food chain sell a chicken sandwich. Well, they've done a little something different. They have a Buffalo Ranch chicken sandwich. I believe this is the same chicken. It just has a different sauce on it. Um, I wasn't really going to plan on doing this review. Uh, but I went somewhere in Chicago, paid for parking. And the place that I was going to go to was closed. As I said, temporarily closed paper sign on the window. Um, nothing online that stated that this location was closed at all. So that was disappointing. Uh, I quickly looked around to see, well, what else is around here that I might be able to try? There was a Cold Stone Creamery right next door, and they had these like ice cream peanut butter cups, which looked really cool. Uh, they just looked like big peanut butter cups, but they were filled with peanut butter ice cream and had a hard chocolate shell on it. Uh, so I went in there and asked for one. I thought, oh, they're in the cooler, so I looked over in the cooler. And there was like these big six packs of them. Well, I don't want to be carrying around six ice cream cups today. So I asked, is there a way to me just get one? She said, nope. And I left. Across the street from there was Popeye's. So I knew I hadn't tried this sandwich yet. And to make my parking situation... Um, somehow worth it I paid more money to get this buffalo ranch chicken sandwich from Popeyes a lot of buffalo ranch sauce just in the bottom of there and it has another wrapper so what's on here we got buffalo ranch sauce and pickles The sauce looks way more buffalo-y than ranchy, but let's give it a taste. All the good stuff from the Popeye's chicken sandwich is still there. Their buns are still soft. Their chicken is still super crunchy. The chicken is still decently sized, and the pickles are still tasty. Let's get a few more bites to really test out this buffalo ranch sauce, though. It's not bad. Now, they already had a regular and a spicy. Buffalo tends to be on the spicy side of things. So, is this all that different than their spicy sauce one? Again, one of the reasons why I wasn't planning on reviewing this, just because in my mind I thought this isn't anything different than their spicy one. I suppose there's a little bit of a ranch kick to the spice, but it's really not all that different, all that special to make a new thing. Also, on the, the one that I went to, I was kind of excited when I went there because it said Thursday special was a chicken and a side. And it was a cheaper price than the regular combo. And they said, well, that's only for the regular chicken. It doesn't count the buffalo ranch chicken. So the, the sauce they put on this cancels out the, the deal that I would have gotten if I would have just gotten the regular sandwich. And 
after tasting this, I can tell you, I would have rather save the money. Um, cause they can give you like a cup of sauce on the side, usually for free when you buy something. You could have put your own buffalo sauce on this and it would taste almost identical. The sandwich is good. The chicken's still good. The pickles are still good. And the sauce is good. It's just not special. And with that, I'll say, unless you're already going to a Popeyes and you want to try something different, this is something that you can definitely miss out on and not feel bad about. Um, if you want buffalo and ranch on your chicken sandwich, guess what? Popeyes has buffalo sauce and they have ranch sauce. You can put them both on the sandwich and it will taste just like this one. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Give the video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to my channel so you can see more reviews and my food blogging life. Anyway, that's it for now. Bye.